Hello again there ladies and gentlemen, my trigonometry class. So good to have you. Today we're going to be talking about simplifying uh, trigonometric expressions and we'll also talk about some more formulas, the sum and difference formula. My sum formula, if I have the sign of the sum alpha plus beta, that's why it's called the sum formula, that is the same as or it's equal to the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta plus the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. Just something we need to know. Um, some of the sum formula for the cosine, the cosine of alpha plus beta is equal to the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. For the difference formulas, I have the sine of alpha minus beta equals the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus the cosine alpha times the sine of beta. For the cosine, cosine of alpha minus beta for my difference formula is equal to the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta plus the sine of alpha times the sine of beta and my female dog is trying to eat my tripod. Anyway, that will stop here momentarily. So now then, let's do some examples here. Let me get rid of this guy. And my examples here. One second. Dallas. Dallas. Look up here, boy. Dallas, look up here. Ignore me. Ha, oh, you're just like a student. Fine, pick your head up. Fine. At least she doesn't have her phone out. And at least she doesn't have her hoodie on like some boneheads. All right, so where was that? Okay, we're gonna do some examples here. I have the sine of alpha. I want to simplify. I have the sine of theta times cosecant of theta minus the sine of theta. I want to simplify as much as possible. So again, we are going to try to put everything in terms of sine and cosine. And let me, that's as far as it's going to go. All right, so this guy is going to become the sine of theta. And remember that cosecant is the same as 1 over the sine of theta minus the sine of theta, and since I have a fraction, I'm going to put this guy as over 1. So this is equal to the sine of theta times, well again, I'm going to have that common denominator, which is sine theta. Put it under one fraction bar, sine of theta. So when I multiply this denominator by sine, I have to multiply the numerator, that becomes 1 minus the sine squared theta. All right, so over here, remember, if I put this guy over 1, we can see very easily that that cancels with that. And I'm left with 1 minus the sine squared theta, which we recall from our Pythagorean identities, this is the same as the cosine of theta. So there I have simplified it as much as I can. Bravo. All right, so now then. Let's do the, uh, let's do secant theta. Secant theta times the sine of theta over the tangent of theta. Well, again, we know secant is the same as 1 over cosine theta. Times, this is sine of theta over, while well, tangent is sine over cosine. I'll do it like this. I think most of us are able to see that better. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. This becomes 1 over the cosine of theta times the sine of theta times the reciprocal is cosine theta over the sine of theta. That's a multiplication symbol. 
Okay? So I'm multiplying all the way across. So this guy is over 1. So this sine theta cancels with that sine theta. Co sine theta, cosine theta cancels with cosine theta. And that guy is just equal to 1. Now let's use our sum and difference formulas. Um, let's say I have the sine of pi over 2 minus x times the cosecant of x. That unit circle rears its ugly head again, but it should be fine for you guys. I know it is. So this becomes the sine using my difference formula. This is the sine of pi over 2 times the cosine of x, sine of pi over 2, cosine of x, minus the cosine of pi over 2 times the sine of x. And that is all going to be multiplied by 1 over the sine of x. Remember, cosecant x is the same as 1 over sine x. So I come inside here. What is the sine of pi over 2? Boom, you're right, it's 1. So it's 1 times the cosine of x, which is just the cosine of x. What is the sine, what is the cosine of pi over 2? Boom, 0. 0 times sine of x is just 0. So this is just cosine of x times 1 over the sine of x. Multiplying, that gives you cosine of x over the sine of x, which is equal to cotangent of x. And let me verify this. That worked. And thank you for Mrs. Kbrick to looking at the video and telling me that before I had it zoomed in too far, so I had to redo the video. And I think that's all I'm going to do with you guys for now. Um, see you all next time, which is probably going to be around Christmas, I think.